Tonight in the Natalie Holloway case, the Reuben prosecutors are actually reopening the case. This after watching hidden camera footage from a Dutch TV journalist who says he has solved the case. In brand new transcripts of talks with prosecutors, Dutch reporter Peter De Vries refers to a, quote, confession from prime suspect Jorn van der Sloot. And he says he's going to reveal his secret undercover tapes about what really happened to Natalie Holloway on his show this weekend. Natalie's mother had a chance to see what DeVries uncovered. Take a look at her reaction. Look what they've done. Look what they've done to Natalie. Look what they've done to hmm? our country. Look what they've done to... To, to you. Look what they've done. She was somehow relieved because, well, she was uh, asking herself for almost three years now what happened to her daughter and now she got the answers. Suspects Joran van der Sloot and the Kalfo brothers have already been arrested twice and released. So is there a possibility of another arrest now? With us now is America's Most Wanted correspondent John Lieberman and former homicide detective and Fox News contributor Rod, uh, Rod Wheeler. Uh, John, let me start with you. So new evidence in the case that is because that's the only reason they're going to reopen it. Yeah. So how credible is what this reporter has? This is a major development in the case. For one, prosecutors are reopening the case. The real question here is, what did Mr. Vandersloot confess to? Did he confess to doing something? Did he confess to knowing something about what happened to Natalie? Or did he confess to actually witnessing something? Now, the reporter has said that there was a confession. Do we know anything about what this confession might be? We believe that in the confession, it has to do with how Natalie was killed and where her body could be. Again, it doesn't appear that he confessed to actually <laughs> killing her, but the confession convinced Natalie's mom enough, and we've spent a lot of time with the Holloway parents over the last few years, it convinced her enough that she is closer to closure to knowing what happened to her daughter. Rod Wheeler, uh, this new Natalie evidence, uh, it, it, the question, is it good enough for an arrest? And if it is, why is the case only reopened and we don't see these guys arrested already? Well, because I think what the authorities are going to do, John, is they're going to follow through on this alleged confession. Now, let's not jump to conclusions. Let's wait and hear exactly what Euron said, if in fact it is Euron on this interview. And if that is the case, here's exactly what the law enforcement is going to do over there, John. They're going to follow through on everything he specifically said, try to follow up to find out if it makes sense, first of all, if it could have happened. And then, John, that, at that point, we may in fact see an arrest made. Rod, is, does this sound like, like maybe an admission of knowledge or, or what we would all call a true confession? Well, John, that's an excellent, excellent question. And let me tell you why. You hit it right on the head when you said an admission of knowledge. Because when it comes down to a criminal investigation, sometimes, John, an admission of knowledge is enough to give an investigator the rope he needs to go through on that investigation to get that confession. So you are 100 percent correct. Uh, correct. An admission of knowledge leads to a possible confession, and that's exactly what the cops hopefully are doing right now, John. John, uh, how was this tape obtained? I mean, we know it was undercover, but what was the context? Did the reporter go in it and say that he was a reporter, or was it something a little bit more sly? It doesn't appear that the reporter himself actually videotaped it. It appears he rigged some very secretive cameras, both in the Netherlands and in another location as well. We're hearing two locations. Uh, were where, where the video was taken. And one thing that's interesting, too, that you should know is that the fact of the matter is, as Rod was saying, uh, this is going to be challenged by the defense attorney. I heard from Joe Takapina, uh, Vandersloot's defense attorney, not too long ago. He's already talking about, was the tape spliced together? How do we know it's Vandersloot? So expect well, this to just be the, the beginning. the prosecutors are going to get the raw tape anyway. You, you would think that they would have to before they could go ahead and really throw the book at somebody. Rod, quickly, is this going to stand up in court? Well, we don't know. And just like my co-panelists indicated, it is going to be challenged in court. But see, that's exactly, uh, Heather, why the police need to follow through on this confession. You know, as we know over, over there in Aruba, they get the confession and then they automatically just arrest people. Follow through on it and let's see where days. it leads to. It's always eight days, right, yeah. guys? All right. All right. John right. Lieberman from America's Most Wanted and, of course, former homicide detective, Fox News contributor Rod Wheeler. Thanks to both of you. We'll see what Thank happens you, here. Thanks sure. so much.